Hi guys, I got a fun one for you this time. How to make a scene on the cheap. I started out by looking around what I could find for an appropriate price. And these folks, the Tiki Train group, have a wide assortment of different, mostly HO scale stuff. And here it is, it's a two pack, two different structures for 20 bucks. This might well be the best dollar value in the whole area. So looking at the directions, they give you a whole pile of directions. You know, you got to have different directions for the two different little buildings. Now trying to do this on the cheap, I didn't want to buy anything extra, so I decided to use my rattle can paint that I already have on hand, stuff that I have here. And oh, by the way, don't forget all your plastic models, wa wash them in warm, soapy water and then rinse them well. Now in this kit, they give you a lot of stuff for 20 bucks. They give you 80, 80 milk cans. Now it comes prepared for HO, standard HO, but I wanted HO in three. So I had to figure out how to convert the units, the uh, models. Now of course, as with all kits, make sure to take the time to clean up the edges. These parts are well made and well thought out, but they still have to get cleaned up. And here I am making the new ramp to accommodate the narrow gauge HO rather than the standard gauge that comes with it. Now these milk cans, there's 80 of them, and inside the shed, those were milk cans that were designed to go out. The ones that are outside, those are the returns, so the ones that are coming back. And this is the milk shed, came out really nice. Granted, it's kind of small, but still very nice. And here is the hand car shed. It also came out exceptionally nice, and there you can see my little ramp. This is very well manufactured parts. They're really thin. You have to be careful about warping them, but that's with every good kit. And come to find out it wasn't two kits, it was actually four kits. You have the two structures and then you have a hand cart and then a push cart. So for the 20 bucks you get four different kits. And here's the hand car. Of course they don't give you the figurines, the figures. I add those on my own. And here's the push cart. These two carts came out great. I had to figure out how to make them narrow gauge. I ended up putting the wheels in the inside of the frames instead of the outside. Now I love hand carts. I got a whole bunch of them. This is just some of them that I put out here for display. So it's kind of fun. Now what am I going to do for a seat? Well I rummaged around and find a piece of foam that I had on hand and what's more real than real? This is stuff that I get right out of my compost pile. I sieve it, I put white glue on and then I put it right on there. Now with the track, what I do is I lay the track and the ballast at the same time, quick and dirty, just slop some white glue on there, put the track down, put the ballast on top, and then hold it down. Then of course the next thing you want a nice neutral color, so you start out with this, and then you got to figure out where everything fits. And once again, not wanting to spend any money, I looked around, I found a backdrop I had on hand, a rock mold from who knows what it came from, and trying to figure out where everything fits. Next part is my personal favorite is all the scenic detail and I got a bunch of it on hand so I didn't have to buy anything. And with the detail, scenic detail, my attitude is there's no such thing as too much detail in the scene. So here you can start, see I'm starting to put stuff in. I got a road in place. I've glued the rock mold in place. Doesn't actually fit very well but it'll be alright. Now you can see I'm putting in some of the other scenic detail. I've put in the telephone poles and I've got some of the the other organic stuff and here's the finished scene. Now this whole scene cost me about 20 bucks. Pretty cool, huh? And it came out really, really nice. I really like this particular company. I've done some of their other kits in the past. I just never noticed this probably best dollar value on the market. 20 bucks for all this stuff. Well, okay, not the truck, not the figures. But it came out absolutely wonderful, fun little project here. And as you build your projects, try to add more and more and more stuff. What else can you add in there? What can you have in that pile of junk? Well, there it is. My $20 scene. Pretty darn good. Now, just to let you know that these hand carts have been around a long time. This happens to be the reason the hand cart went away. It's a power cart. And you'll see the milk shed in the back there. There's another picture of a milk shed. There's another milk shed. Lots of milk cans. 
And so all of these things have a historical background. And I hope you guys had as much fun as this as I did. Give it a try. Go have a look at the Tiki Train group. This is their webpage. I'm sure they'll have something that you like. Have fun. Come back again. Bye.